Now that we've seen how to create a follow script, it's quite easy to actually create a, um, a flea script. So something that, for example, makes uh, the instances that we spawn uh, go away from the target. So in this case, we want the girls to run away from this uh, Liam character. Uh, and again, it's quite simple to do that. If we go back to our script, what we're doing here is we're calculating a direction that goes from the pursuer, right, uh, to the target. But if we do exactly the opposite, so we invert the order of these two, of these two variables, of these two vector threes, we do this. Now we get a vector three that points in the opposite direction. So this script has now become, rather than follow, is going to become an, a flee or a runaway script. The other thing to note here is we want to um, make sure that the calculation here is also correct because here we were checking if the object was above one. So now we want to do something, uh, I guess, that we want to move the object only if it's like less than 25. I'm saying 25 because this number here is squared, right? So I'm saying if um, the distance is five by five, is below five by five, then I'm gonna I'm gonna perform the movement. So it means that whenever the player is five units away from the uh, targets, well, the target is the player, but whenever the target is five units away from uh, the current object that has this script or less, it's gonna move away. So if I go back to Unity, we let it compile, we press play. Now we should be seeing the newly spawned targets, they're moving away from the player. So now the player can go after them. And as you see, it only happens if there's five units or less distance. So as you move towards them, they will start uh, escaping. And then it's a matter of gameplay, uh, sorry, game design to make it sure that like the speed of the player is roughly more then the speed of the moving targets, uh, and then you can like actually reach them.